Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast, your host, Anita Young. And today we've got a great podcast topic about not being afraid of menopause. I really love this. We have a special guest named Mary. She has taken us through her own personal experiences with this and what she has done to now really kind of take the control, take her power back, and not be afraid of it anymore. Let's get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. I actually am going through menopause and that has played a big part in my journey right now. And I am at a different level than I was before. I'm learning as much as I can because when we were younger, like our parents didn't talk about it. I literally thought I was going crazy and my emotions were out. Like, like I said, I work at Disney. I'm there with tons of people. And I was like, I didn't want to be around people because of the way I'm getting hot flashes. Like everything was so out of whack eight o'clock in the morning, you know, and I'm just like, wait, hold on. (laughs) I'm getting a personal summer here, (laughs) but It was like just learning everything and being open about it has helped me grow and I'm still learning. There's women that don't like to talk about it. Back then, I don't know why. I seen my mom with her hot flashes, you know, she was always hot, but I didn't realized like there was more to it and it's like I just kept saying I didn't I don't remember my mom going through this I don't you know she didn't tell me about this or you know and it's like maybe she did go through it and that's you know her health issues bit but she kept it in and when you keep things in it you know, you get sick from it. I didn't want that. And I reached out to you guys. I reached out to Opal and Opal was just, she was there, you know, and she's like, you got this. And, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm not going crazy. (laughs) Reaching out, you know, talking to people, getting that support group back, um, not keeping yourself secluded. Yeah. And what I've learned about menopause and just hormones in general is that everything is connected. And what happens is as women will start to just wait, usually women will wait until all of a sudden these symptoms start to happen. And then we start doing something about it when that is not the way we want to be going into menopause. And so the best thing to do, like you said, is to share so we can learn if you're going through something, it's your body signaling you something. I have been working with women in menopause where this has literally been the cycle. It's so it's been, everyone's stories are so interesting and so fascinating. That's why it's so personalized. But uh, there was one member that came in and she was like, I just can't lose weight. I can't seem to just budge. Like nothing is moving. And I was like, all right. So her nutrition looked great. Her workouts looked great. And, but then when I started asking a couple of questions, I was like, wait, where's your stress? Her stress was through the roof. Her sleep was non-existent. I was like, interesting. Well, I know that affects your hormones. So what we did is we dialed in a little bit more realizing that the stress affecting the sleep makes it so you cannot build your lean muscle. That is where you build your lean muscle, which is lean muscle is your metabolism. That's burning the fat. Yes. So what we did in the program is we were literally just de-stressing her. She came in a neurotic mess and she left going, I feel so much more calm and at peace. And I have this finally under control. It was a huge shift in her menopause journey. And we know that stress can create the hot flashes. We know that everything is seriously connected, but what's happening is people are just putting synthetic treatments pills, injections, or what have you onto the symptom, but they're never addressing the root of it. 
And when you address the root, not only does it change the hormones that takes the symptoms away to help manage your menopause, but then also the other areas of your life start to change. She started losing weight more effortlessly. She started dropping pants sizes. And she goes, I wish somebody would have told me this sooner. And so that's why I pride myself in doing these free podcasts for women so that we can start to, like you said, knowledge is your power, continue to learn so you can take control over it and share your journey. Because if you don't share, you're in that contracting energy. That's where we close ourselves off. We isolate and we never get the help. That's the opposite, the expansive energy. That's your love vibration. That's where we truly are receiving, open to giving, and it puts us in tune with being able to reach our goals. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> So are you starting to see that your menopause symptoms are starting to fade as you start to kind of really see the bigger picture? You know what? Yes. Like I, I have, it's, you know, my sleep this week really hasn't been too great just because of everything that's going on and stuff, you know, but you got to also remember I'm home. I've been home for this will be two weeks. And so I was stuck in the house, you know, bed rest. It, what do you do? You sleep. So it's like you sleep during the day. And I was at, at night. I'm like wide awake. It's like, <laughs> so it's just getting myself back on track. Um, making sure that I'm going to bed at least by 930, you know, 10 o'clock. And getting as much sleep as I can. And I actually do, you know, I, I have a counselor, I started talking to a counselor, because like I said, I thought I was going crazy. I see it from the first day that I called her, I was like, crying a mess, you know, just like, so emotional, like, lost, you know, like my hormones were so out of whack. And now it's like, I zoomed with her and she's like, I see that spark in your eye again. I see that, you know, it's, I, I see the light in you, you know, and it's, I feel it. Today, I feel great. Don't ask me about tomorrow. I'm focusing on today because <laughs> who knows my, my levels might be, I don't know, but I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on today and my wins today. So <sighs> thank you for this information and sharing and being vulnerable, Mary, truly a few tips as far as still diving into the, the menopause and hormone world. I want to share a couple resources that I have found to be extremely helpful. One is a book called woman code, woman's code. You guys, that book, every woman needs to read. It will explain the connection of everything and how to really dial in and start controlling. It has absolutely helped make me take control and also help other women. So that's a big one. The other one, there is an, uh, an app called Ovia app, O-V-I-A. It's a free app that it syncs up with your cycle or your menopause. And it tells you what is going on. If you're having hot flashes, it'll say you're estrogen dominant and how you can actually clear estro extra estrogen. If you're gaining weight, you're estrogen dominant and how to clear extra estrogen, how to balance yourself more on a holistic path. There's also another one. I have a doctor that I've reached out to. She's a holistic doctor named Dr. Patricia. I just did a podcast with her recently. And if anybody actually needs her information, she does a test with you that she, she checks all of your estrogen levels, your E1, E2, your E3, finds out where they're at. No doctors actually, from what, what I can see, have tested it to that much of a detailed. And what she does is she does not slap a bunch of Band-Aids and just a bunch of synthetic products on you. She is like to the core, figuring out exactly how to get to that, the root of the problem, as far as your progesterone, your estrogen, testosterone, all that stuff. And so I have her. And then also the other one is I just did a podcast. Go check it out. It's on Booty Bands More Than Fitness. And this was with Teresa. She was, um, she's about, she's in her fifties. She struggled with menopause for over 10 years. And I did a podcast and she revealed 
everything. She revealed the vitamins we should be taking, what sleep really means, what time we need to be going to bed because what is going on in our sleep during our hormonals rebalancing themselves. I mean, she goes through the list and she was like a, she was like a bikini competitor. So she really has like an overall view of more of like fitness level on kind of that perspective. And so that was really profound. And so those would be some great, great resources you guys to go check out. If you're still kind of in that world of confusion with it, learn, 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 because the truth of it is the symptoms are not normal. Your body is off and you want to find out exactly what's going on with your body. And if your doctor's telling you that you're normal and you're having these symptoms, you can look at your doctor right in the face and say, you can have all the number, the normal accuracies that you want. I'm looking for optimal. Yeah. Not normal. Because what happens with the estrogen and like all the hormone stuff, you can have your doctor say you're in the normal categories. They put you in normal normal categories because you're older. So they'll say, oh, that's normal that it looks like that. No, 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 (laughs) no. My girls are all being optimal levels. Y'all being optimal, not normal. So yeah, that's a, that was a big piece too. So if you, I will put that down in the comments for all of you guys too, for any of those resources. What would you tell somebody, somebody that is really struggling through menopause and having all of these side effects and feel super alone with the weight gain, with the loss of energy, with all those things that come with it. And as you mentioned, it's been kind of taboo to talk about, like our parents never talked about it. What could you say, kind of imagining that they're in that position where they don't have a community or friends to kind of talk about this? What would you tell them? Find out as much as you can, because I didn't know I was the only girl out of five boys. And then I have two sons of myself, you know, it's like, I can't talk to them, you know, it's just like, (laughs) but I literally felt like I had a mental breakdown and I was scared. And I was like, I felt like I was drowning and I reached out for help. And I started, okay, let me learn this. Let me see. Let's do this. Let's do this. You know, because I have been on a healthier journey. And because I was working out, that helped slow things down. And I didn't realize that. Learning all this new things, it's just like, wow, you know, that I had a hysterectomy back in 2014. We're in 2000, 2023. Find out as much as you can. Learn, ask for help. You're not alone. You are not alone. That's great. Honestly, it's really profound information, truly, because when you're alone, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that hard of a thing, but truly when you're alone, you become so isolated that you just really lose the outside world. And so to know that there's people out there, especially like a community that can embrace you, you know, you feel like a lot of things can be impossible. So thank you for sharing that. And our group is here for you. Come in as we continue to keep learning and sharing, learning and sharing, learning and sharing. (laughs) Like that's exactly like Mary's motto. Learn, share, learn, share. Let's go. Yeah, (laughs) That's great. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. Really profound information. And again, such a great inspiration. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, this. Been a while since it, we've been a while since it felt.